Well, firstly, I want to just say that BC is the only province that put in place a program for renters. Uh, I think that that's appropriate. I encourage other jurisdictions, and I've done so in our, our regular uh, conference calls with premiers. Uh, it's critically important that people have secure housing at a time when we need to stay close to a home. Uh, for the hard to house and marginal groups, we've seen initiatives like uh, here in Victoria, uh, Mayor Helps and her council looking at innovative ways uh, to try and find housing or appropriate spacing for those who can't find a, a roof and are, are living in a tent or outdoors. Uh, I've tasked Minister Shane Simpson to focus not just on the downtown east side, but particularly on those areas where there are vulnerable populations. He's working across, again, across government with Minister Darcy on mental health and addictions, uh, with uh, children and family development, with uh, uh, Melanie Mark, who represents the area, the Minister of Advanced Education, all trying to pull together to find those people who are falling between the cracks, whether it be marginal populations or uh, individuals like you suggest in your question. And before we could address those who were falling through the cracks, we needed to find out who they were and how many there are. And now that the federal government is adding uh, seasonal workers to their inventory, again, just announced this morning, keeping pace with the federal announcements is a major challenge for our finance people as they bring forward, as the federal government brings forward programs, we're looking at how we can complement those and try and capture those individuals that are falling through the cracks. A small business operator, someone who's just looking uh, this spring at a, a, a new adventure, a new challenge in their lives, their professional lives, starting a business is always exciting and always very challenging. In these circumstances, of course, it's devastating. You put a lot of effort and energy into starting up and you don't get to open your doors. So we have to look at those individuals on a case-by-case -case basis. I encourage people uh, to, to contact their local member of the legislature, contact their members of parliament, we have people working uh, all the time. The legislature doesn't need to be sitting. Uh, the House of Commons does not, not need to be in session for elected representatives to be there, to listen to concerns in their communities, and then feed that into the processes, either at the federal level or at the provincial level. And similarly, I know mayors and councillors uh, across the province are also the front line when it comes to delivering services. If people feel that, that they're not getting what they need, at any of these orders of government, they should just shop it around. And I don't mean that in a look for the best answer. If you're not getting the answer you need at the federal level, certainly approach your MLA, certainly approach uh, your council or your mayor or your regional district. The only way we can build the programs is if we hear about it. And the best way to do that is through the vast number of elected representatives we have here in BC.